In number seven, we are going to tackle a word problem. We have the height at time t of an object that's moving in a vertical line with constant acceleration is given by this position, position equation. So there it is. We're going to need that. S is the height. A is the acceleration in feet per second squared. T is the time. V sub zero is the initial velocity. And S sub zero is the initial height. So we are supposed to solve for A, V sub zero, and S sub zero. And we're given different information. First, we know that S equals 104 at time one. So we're going to plug that into this equation that we've got up here. S is 104 when T is 1. So if you plug in 1 squared plus V sub O times 1 plus S sub O. Okay, so that's our first equation. I might rewrite that so it's a little bit easier to read because we don't actually need those 1s. So we have 104 equals 1 half A plus V O plus S O. Okay, next we're given that the height is 76 after two seconds. So we plug that into this equation. 76 is 1 half A times 2 squared plus V sub O times 2 plus S sub O. And just cleaning that up, we get 76 equals 2A plus 2V O plus S O. And the third thing we're given is that the height is 16 after three seconds. So we plug that in one half A times three squared plus V O times three. So we have 16 equals nine halves A plus three V O plus S O. All right, those are the three equations that we have to work with. So instead of x, y, and z, we have a, v sub o, and s sub o. We need to get rid of one of the variables. I want to get rid of the um, s sub o. So I'm going to take these first two equations. And to get rid of the s o, I need to multiply one of the equations by negative one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that here because I don't have a lot of space to work with. So when I add these two equations, that gives me, let's see, 28 equals negative 3 halves. I'm going to go ahead and put that as a decimal. Negative 1.5a minus vo, and the, the so cancels. Now I need to do the same thing. I need to eliminate the same variable. I'm going to use uh, these two equations. And since I already multiplied the second equation by negative 1, it's all set up. I can just write this, add these two equations, and I get negative 60 equals, I think that's 2.5 plus VO. Okay, so these are like the two start equations, and now I want to use these and eliminate a variable. And lucky for us, they are already set up. Do you see that you have negative VO and positive VO? So you can go straight to eliminating those. And negative 1.5A plus 2.5A is just plain old A. And we get A equals negative 32. Now, remember, that's acceleration. They told us the units. A is negative 32 feet per second squared. And now we need to back substitute so that we can find the velocity and the initial height. So we need to go back to one of these start equations. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to pick this one. So we have negative 60 equals 2.5 times negative 32 plus the initial velocity. Uh, I need a calculator for this one. Let me grab it. So 30 to negative 32 times 2.5 is negative 80. So when I add 80 to both sides, uh, my initial velocity, why is this not right? Double check all of that math. Plugged it in there. Negative 32. Initial velocity. No, I think it's right. 
Okay. Um, looks like initial velocity is 20 feet per second. And then to solve for initial height, we need to go back to one of our original ones. It doesn't matter which one. Uh, I might pick that one just because. So we have 104 equals 1 half times negative 32 plus the initial velocity. And we're going to solve that. Um, so that's negative 16 plus 20. So it looks like the initial height is 100 feet. Okay. So that's how we use uh, these problems. Again, it was just solving for X, Y, and Z. It's just they happen to be A's, V's, and S's instead.